In this video, we'll learn how to save and export animations in Photo Mirage. So when you're finished working on a photo animation, you can save it for future editing, as well as export it as a video or animated GIF so that it plays basically anywhere and is really easy to share. Now it's best practice to always save your Photo Mirage projects as you work so that you can open them up again later and make further edits another time. And we'll show you how to do that. To save a new project, go to File, Save As, choose where you're gonna save your file, give it a name, and you'll be saving your project in Photo Mirage's native file format, .cpm. CPM is non-destructive, and that means you'll always be able to open up this file type with Photo Mirage in the future and pick up exactly where you left off. Or go back and make changes to previously plotted motion arrows and anchor points, cropped areas, and anything else really. Your CPM project files also serve as great reference points if you want to go back and see how you plotted your motion arrows and anchor points in another photo to achieve a certain animation effect. And to that point, we'll open another Photo Mirage file that I saved in the past. You'll see it opens up complete with all my motion arrows, anchor points, and a crop already applied, and I can still manipulate all those things. And if you want to save a file like this that you've previously saved, you can just go up to the File menu and choose Save. So now that we've covered the value of saving your work and you know how to save as Photo Mirage files, we'll move on to exporting. The quickest way to access your export options is to come down to the bottom of the screen and click the Export icon. Photo Mirage has a whole bunch of export presets to choose from, which makes it really easy to get your photo animations ready for sharing on social media. You can see there's a Facebook option, YouTube, Instagram, and a whole bunch of others. When you choose one of those presets, your image dimensions and your animation loop duration are already set for you, so your final product is optimized for whichever platform you intend to share it on. One other option you have for your animations is that you can also share to the Photo Mirage user gallery. Just come up to the left and click the gallery icon, and you'll see down here there's a link to share your creations with the Photo Mirage team for a chance to be published in the gallery. Now if none of the export presets are working for you, and you want to have a little bit more control over your export, there is a custom option too, up here on the right. In the custom menu, you can choose to set the file type, image size, animation loop duration, and more to best fit your specific needs. One thing to keep in mind when you're creating your animations is that it's easiest if you choose the same crop presets as export presets, so that you don't end up with conflicting aspect ratios. If you do want to use freeform or original portions for your crop, however, then it's pretty likely you'll see a warning like this in the export dialog box. When there's a mismatch between the aspect ratio of the image and the export preset, by default, the image is gonna be sized to fit the frame, which could mean some areas get cropped. If you prefer, you can disable the size to fill frame checkbox right here. And that's gonna add black bars to the sides or top of the frame rather than cropping your image. So since we saw that warning, I'm gonna go back to crop and change my crop preset to Facebook. Then I'll go back into export. Facebook is already selected and you'll see there's no warning message because our crop and export ratios are the same. So it's time to click OK, navigate to where I wanna save it, and now I can confidently upload it to Facebook knowing that I'm not going to run into any sizing or quality issues. Another way to share your animations from Photo Mirage is through email. To do that, we'll click the email icon right next to export and you can choose either to embed your animation in the email or to attach it. There are a few different preset sizes you can choose from. I'll pick one, then just click OK to email your photo animation as an animated GIF. And the final note is that you can also export or email your animations through the file menu, just like save and save as. And that's about it on saving and exporting. Time to start sharing your animations with the world. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and don't forget to check out the rest of our tutorial videos under the welcome menu.